guys and welcome to Hack Explorer. In today's episode, we are going to talk about online tools for malware analysis. On a day-to-day -day basis, one of my favorite tools is Any.Run, which is online and interactive and a fast tool with tons of features built into it. So let's look at how to use this tool. Continue watching and don't forget to subscribe. Hi guys, in today's episode, we are going to talk about online malware analysis tools. Now I have picked one tool uh, that is any.run. So let's see what are the features in this one. This will be the web page that we will be seeing. The first uh, feature of any.run is you have real-time interaction. If you get a window like this, you can click the buttons and see where it connects to because the virus behaves differently according to the input that you have given. And real-time network tracking, where the virus connects to, what type of connections are coming back, everything in a detailed analysis you can see over here. And the next thing is what is essentially process monitoring. So here you can see what are the process running. Additionally, you can see some behavioral analytics that is built into any.run. So this version you can see they are analyzing a version of Grand Crab. So in process monitoring, they see connects to the command control server, detects shadow copies, deletes shadow copies, rename files like ransomware. So these kind of behaviors are also identified. So it will make your analyzing more easy. Uh, and one of my favorite features is the MITRE attack mapping. Now we'll be uh, discussing uh, about MITRE attack framework in a different video, but if I say uh, simply what is MITRE attack is, uh, now we can see a lot of hacking groups, so we call them as APT groups. They have some uh, behavioral or they are on tools or techniques that is used. So MITRE attack has all of these uh, techniques recorded if you, if you see some uh, malware which is executed and behaving according to a previously known attack vector, it will be showing in this MITRE attack graph. So they have some signatures for initial access, execution, persistence. Now you can see Grand Crab has some execution which is uh, common for some group. Okay. And finally, reporting. Reporting is meeting very easy in this tool. You can see it shows a behavioral graph. So we have executed file over here and what are the sub processes that I initiated a process uh, it, uh, this tried to inject its malware and you can see finally we have the virus executed over here now to test out this tool I have selected the emotate malware uh, emotate is a banking trojan and it is delivered via emails it's a very popular campaign as of 2019 uh, December so let me give a small introduction of Emotet malware. Emotet is normally uh, popularly delivered by our emails. So you will get an email, something looking addressed to victim's name and sent by a very popular company. They are used to spoof uh, like popular names in the mails. And you'll see some banking document or something. When you click on this, this will download the document. So popular method of this Emotet team is they send the malware through a Word document. This document contains some macros, so it has the payload that it wants to infect. So you will either see a link which goes to a site and downloads the malware, or another common method is the same email, they will send the malware attachment with the email itself. Uh, I have have a small uh, demo of uh, how this thing works, so we can see when we see it on any dot run, it will be very clear to us. So as I told you, a phishing email will be sent to the user. Uh, the payload will be sent by a web link or a attachment, which I have to mention over here. Now, once you open this one, you will get a document similar to this. Okay. Now you can see it gives a warning whether the user has to write run the macros. Now this is where actually user needs a clicking part. Most of the online malware analysis uh, to stop from here because this particular part is not clear. Now, in an interactive malware analysis tool, you can click on this and your macro will start to run. Now, in the process, we'll be seeing the macro is executed and it will be running a PowerShell script. Now, this PowerShell script is responsible for downloading the malware which is encoded in the code. So, this is the emote chain. Let's go into any.run and start by let's hunt. Okay, so this is the main dashboard. So if you want a new machine, click on new task, it will run a fresh virtual machine to you. Okay, 
so here we have a lot of operating systems remember in the free version we have only Windows 7 which is 32 bit and you can actually choose a file or if you have the URL you can directly type here in my situation I have the file already downloaded I'll go to Emote test and let's click on the sample and I'm gonna upload it right and here it shows what are the applications that will be installed in the virtual machine that we are going to run right now and duration in the public version we are restricted to 60 minutes uh, so that's the only disadvantage over here but remember for initial analysis and quick and fast if you want to get the IOCs of the particular file this is a great method I'm going to keep these as a default uh, setting so remember I only uploaded the file and here I'm going to click on run now this time what happens is it will spin up a machine for me and uh, loading my malware file and we have 60 seconds to analyze so you're clicking and all your interactivity you can see within this one right so you can see the windows file has been loaded and we can see the file has been uploaded now this malware just executed and we can see some http requests were made now which process hack has been downloaded a powershell now we know that we didn't download any powershell so it should be from the file now how do you see that one if you go to the process tree you can see the winword.exe it executed and after that the next execution was powershell now this sample was a bit old. I believe all the links that were related to this PowerShell malware are now disabled or blocked. So that's why we don't see any download after this. Because again, I show you the example. Uh, we should see some type of uh, download after this. Now this I did earlier. If you go into history, it will maintain a history of the virtual machines that you ran and all the documents. So when you ran it and what are the output that you have come now you can see I ran a lot of emotes malware so I, I'll, I'll just look at this okay this will load my previous result of the execution when I run it I actually gave the website URL that came from the email link next it downloaded the word file you can see it over here and after that word executed and you can see I get the macro warning over here I had to click on enable editing to run the macro and after that the virus got executed now here this phase is all the execution something was happening and it was recording what happened okay so first of all two connections powershell.exe now we'll see uh, the chrome path now we can see we gave uh, the url pattern over here and it downloaded a word document you can do some connection the chrome was doing some connections in the background and we can see now what this is the thing that we want to see the PowerShell was executed over here and the PowerShell surely downloaded some files from here. We can directly see the links that were connected. If you are doing a manual malware analysis, you have to get the PowerShell code decoded. <clears throat> I click on the PowerShell and he can see, you can go for more info. If I go to more info, this is the actual PowerShell command that was executed. Here you can see it was a long code and you can see it's not readable. So I'm going to copy this code, go to my text editor. So when you start to analyze this, this particular section, right? So it's in encoded in some way. Now this encoding is very identified. So you can see here it is equal sign, which base 64 encoder so so i'm going to decode this uh, base 64 decode let's see what is the google's first result okay let's go to a simple site like this okay decode from base 64 and decode it okay now i'm getting something over here right right so we see some gibberish over here i think they have some environment variable set up for these things but you can see here these urls which are downloaded okay so it's the code which is mentioned over here it is trying to connect to a lot of sites maybe it has like a fail safe size if one site doesn't work it goes to jump to another site and try to download malware so these are the infected sites the PowerShell trying to connect to. 
Okay, I'm, I'm like going it off here. Um, one of my favorite tools is CyberChef. Okay, CyberChef, that's a great tool for this type of analysis. Go over here. I have done a separate video on CyberChef. Uh, you can see what is what can you do in these kind of situations. It's very helpful. Now I just want to see what are the domain names. There's a lot. So you can click here, enter this here. Uh, you can see I'm getting the same codes. And I'm going to um, extract URLs from this particular codes. Okay, so we can see there are several URLs over here. Uh, a WordPress site and uh, uh, Noricon. So these are the sites. You have a function to extract domains. Oh, so these are the sites that were downloaded. So it, it actually identified this net.web client also it's because it's having a regex uh, pattern of domains. But here you can clearly see what are the uh, domains it is trying to connect to. Okay, let's go to any.run and compare our result okay uh, right I'm gonna close this okay flockforwarders.com let's see in our result did we find a domain called flockforwarders.com you can see the first domain so it has not tried to connect to all the domains now you can see here uh, the first domain it connected and it downloaded the executable from here now Further analysis now. This uh, once this is downloaded, we can't see anything that is happened. No registry key modifications. If you go to more info, there was nothing done. Maybe this uh, malware was able to identify this as a virtual machine and it kept uh, right like evading those things and it didn't run properly. But still, you can see you can get all the entry points and how it started to execute and try to block these things from your network to make it uh, safe. Okay right uh, another important thing is uh, you can always see the iocs from here okay uh, so dns queries now some of the stuff you have to be very careful because uh, chrome try to access google.com that's what is showing here but it tried to access these two domains this was the initial domain where the word documents downloaded this was the document where the malware was downloaded so the ip translations and other https traffic all iocs are here so you can directly go and action on there and as i told you the might attack framework which is one of my favorite uh, you can see here uh, the execution phase it's try to use powershell you okay, click on here okay this is a common uh, atp so you can read more about this okay this is the might attack framework techniques powershell which groups are using this one so you can read more about this and get idea uh, so you can see APG 19 it's uh, very popular for them to use PowerShell commands to execute payloads okay and yep so you can actually make this tool as a learning tool right each malware has its own might attack and the best thing is the history of all your executions are maintained uh, it's like a uh, easy screen recording a document of all your findings you can go back so this is something that I uh, like more than a cre creating a manual sandbox. Yes, you can do a lot of things in a manual sandbox, you will learn a lot. But for quick and dirty fast analysis, this is a gold mine. Uh, so I hope you learned something. And finally, you can use a report from this process graph. Now this is something that is very exciting. So it summarizes all its findings into one graph. Right. This is one of the beautiful and most uh, useful diagrams that I have seen on our analysis tool like in this nature. So you can see a uh, chrome.exe was started and you can see some downloads were made over here. And you can see uh, a WMI call, most probably from uh, uh, Windows. This link is missing, which you can actually make them up. Okay, and if you click uh, keep the cursor on those, what? actually happened or those things uh, in the, that particular execution you can see and it went to download and start mode it downloaded this exe and it was recognized as emotet and it dropped and start another exe process and rest we have to find in further analysis in conclusion i can say this is one of the exciting tools that i used for malware analysis for quick and dirty analysis and this much of information you also can use it 
with your own files. I hope you learned something in this video and if you have any questions please post this on the comment area and if you want any other virus to be analyzed and just to see what is the outcome if you want a detailed analysis of particular virus or a malware uh, please post it we'll do analysis on any.run or other tool and uh, yeah uh, so that's it for today and if you enjoy this video please press the like button and if you want more videos like this please press subscribe thank you